Conversations today. I got one of the homies came through. My man Rafa, one of my, one of my fellow kings on the island, on this uh, 4W Wednesday. You know, um, you know, it's always about the women, wine, weed, well being. You know, so I um, got done with my workout. Uh, we was over, came through this morning, so we can get nice and fresh. And, you know, we always have good, good poly, and you know, we always break bread and poly real good, and kind of have a lot of, uh, you know, open, um, open thoughts, open conversation, and you know, I always value, you know, his feedback, his input, and you know, once he started seeing me do these lives. He was super supportive right from the door and was like, look, you know, let's come just rap. And I think this is one of the situations where, you know, I'm at the beginning of my YouTube life. And, you know, I obviously want to talk to men out there and get men to, to learn how to be men and how to not just protect their women, but attract the right woman. Um, know how to attract the right, the right woman. All of that involves with you knowing yourself and finding the best you know, parts of yourself to, to kind of uh, to, to piggyback off of and find those parts of yourself that you are feeling aren't serving you anymore and um, make them a little bit better. Not settling. You know, not settling. Not settling, not looking for settling. That's not a good thing. Settling usually begins Seven. Oh yeah, man. Oh man. Yeah, when you say settle, I, I tell you this, you know, cutting right into it. Um, you know, I got um you know, a very close friend of mine, very close personal friend recently um had that come to Jesus moment, so to speak, you know, um, where they figure, Am I settling? Am I settling? Do I have to? And this is what I tell you, you have choices for everything. That's everything. You got choices for everything, for every breath. You, do, it is a choice, you know. No matter if you feel like you're in the midst of it, you're up to your neck in it. Right. You have a choice. So you have a trap. I mean, that was always a quicksand. You can get out of it. It might be a struggle, but you can get out of it. Yes, yeah. some help. Yeah, there's always help. There's always help. You know, what I mean, this is what we're here for. This is what I'm here for for that help. A lot of people think they got to do it by themselves all the time. Not at all. I pride. Makes you do it by yourself a lot of the time. Pride is a killer, my man. And I always remember a scene from a movie, and we'll get on all get on that. But pride, fuck pride. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, you gotta just put that pride in the bag, throw it out, and keep it moving. Because sometimes it's, it's only gonna be you to pull yourself up. A lot of times it's only gonna be you pulling yourself up. However, you got a real good circle, you know. And I always tell people, keep your circle small because if you get a big circle, Usually the circle get out of control. That's why. That's what happened. When you get that big circle, you lose touch with some people. And when things get spun out of control, but you got a close knit, close circle, people that you really trust, you know, or or, or or maybe maybe not so much to trust, but have a respect for one another. So that that's a different kind of trust. Because it's, it's 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 levels of trust too. You know, it's, it definitely comes with levels of trust as far as business, the relationships, the personal. Financial, uh, religious, you know, spiritual, however you want to do that. But, uh, yeah, man. I mean, I hear that. I definitely hear that. Because when you talk about friends, yeah. you know, um, be honest, I don't think have a lot about of this. I have a lot of associates. Think about this. I mean, and, and, and that's what I was going to say. You know, it's like growing up where we grew up, you kind of get your friends because everybody's thrown in the same situation. You know what I mean? Everybody's just thrown in the same situation, but not everybody has the same beliefs, um, consistencies, you know, and then based off of 
your common foe, you decide to either take on a system, take on a culture, take on the streets or whatnot. But when everybody gets on, then you get to really see who your friends are because not everybody needs each other at this point, right? So the idea of friends has always been interesting to me because I'm, all, I'm, I'm a very friendly person, right? But the idea of friends, you know, you, you, have your, your, you have your core group, you know, you have your core group and then, and then as you go, oh, and, and as you become a nomad and you travel, you, 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 you realize there's a lot of people that think a lot of different ways. Hmm. There's a lot of people that think a lot of different ways and then it creates a whole different framework for how you select on bringing people into, you know, your, 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 your circle. Because even, even out here, you know, I know a lot of people here in Puerto Rico and, uh, and still, you know, we keep, we keep our circle kind of small. You know what I mean? I keep my circle small um, because my energy can be used for so many things. And a lot of times when it's pulled all over the place, you know, you, you end up very ineffective, out of control. You know, so, you know, so being out here in, in, in this area where, you know, it's a little more, uh, it's a little more, you know, secluded and quiet nice, nice and, 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 and pleasant. Nice to be out the city. Yeah, it's always, I tell people it's good to be out the city. You know what I mean? And you know, like, if you're not from here, of course, you, your first start, I, I say, yeah, maybe you should start off in the city. One, uh, and for those of us that don't know where we're at, like we live in Puerto Rico. Yeah, exactly. You know, like I'm, I'm, I grew up in the South Bronx, New York, and I'm you grew Washington, up in DC. In DC, all right. So you already know what that's all about. We live in here in Puerto Rico right now, and honestly, dreams are coming true. Really, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's the wildest thing when you leave your neighborhood, when you get off the block, yeah. when yeah. you get off the block, and you know, and, and more shit going on than just the block, young brothers. No, big time. You know what I mean? And and, and, and this is why we're, we're here talking about this, because what we were able to do is find what we call our freedom strategy. How do we get out of it? You know, um, and not everybody's going to get out the same way. So you have to figure out what your personal freedom strategy is. I'm here coming back to show you all what I learned, the easiest things that you can do at home. Now, I know a whole bunch of shit, but it's. The idea of what can I impart and inspire you to do at home. And if that's thinking differently and maybe growing some food and um, cooking for yourself more. or working out, you know what I mean? Like, or just talking to yourself a little more, you know, get to know yourself better. Mm -hmm. Say once again, nobody knows you like you. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you. Nobody knows you like you, man. A lot of everybody out here. Never lie to yourself. Yes. No doubt. You told it to the grave, you're going you gonna to take it with you. So, and you might as well be true with yourself. And how about this? You know, for being true with yourself, you know, how, how many people are you are are talking about? When you say being true to yourself, how many people out there are really talking bad about themselves to themselves? Mm -hmm. Being their biggest bully, being their own gooch. You know what I mean? The invisible bully is you. So sometimes. Like, say good things to yourself. Don't always call yourself an asshole. Yeah. Don't always call yourself stupid. Don't always believe the things that you hear from people off of frustration. Okay? People grab for the first things that they can when they're frustrated. So, talk good to yourself, man. And then you'll be able to see the options in life. You'll be able to see the options in life. Whether that be, you know, cooking and then finding an ability to find yourself at service for somebody else. Listen, if you really want to get out of your situation, just look at the whole, the best thing. Become of service. Yes. Become of service. Something that makes you feel good. Because like I said, when you're doing something that you love to do, it's not a headache. You know, it, 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 the day breezes by. Like, I mean, you know, I just do for I love to cook. You know what I'm saying? I love to cook. I love entertainment. When I'm over there cooking, man, but people always come and ask me, yo, man, you need some, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I got this. Like, and it's not like an ego thing. It's just, this is what I love to do. It's a passion. You know what I mean? Seeing people enjoy my food, 
laugh and smile and drink and have a good time. And there's no food left at the end of the day. I know they had a good goddamn time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's that's and, and down here that that's that's their life, man. Right? It's day by day. It's, it's a little slower. It's actually a lot slower, but it's, you know, slower here as far as you know, when you come from cities. Like I can't imagine living in big, big New York. I only stayed there a couple times. You know, you go for weekends and shit like that. That's a city, yeah. And the city, uh, you know, if you've ever been to DC, like DC move, it don't stay open all night like like New York. You know, but if you know the city and you've been running the streets a little bit, it's, it's a nightlife, you know. So to come here, it gets a little, except the nightlife here, you know, for this COVID shit, the nightlife here is lit. Like if you've never been to Puerto Rico, at least come once in your life. That's all I can say. Yeah, yeah man. So, what's up? We show you around. Hey, good time. Definitely, man. Definitely. If you're trying to come down to Puerto Rico, one, I guess this is where I got to say, look, this is, I'm new with this YouTube stuff, so yeah, subscribe to my channel, <laughs> um, send it to other people. We'll give you the skinny on what Puerto Rico has going on as far as for you expats that are moving down here, for the innovators that want to move down here and just want to be connected. Um, I... Similar, you know, I echo what Rafa said. It's just, if you're doing something that you love, then it's not work. It's never work. So, you know, where do my four W's come from? Because these are the things that I focus on in my business and in my focus. Women, wine, weed, and well-being. All right? So, no, weed the is the agriculture. All right? Weed is agriculture. Women, because we need them in life. And I look for balance. You know, the divine masculine, divine feminine, I'm both. So you find that balance in yourself and you find you're leveling up with women. Mm -hmm. You know, believe it or not, guys, whether you're trying to attain them, whether they, they hurt you, whether you will always find your red pill moment and be able to empower yourself. That is true freedom. Never be a slave to your urges when it comes to the opposite sex. Because most of the time, it's not what you think it is, man. It's not what you think it is. And I tell you mostly why. Because the reason why you lust after them, the reason why you want them in your life, you know, like, know what that is. Is it for companionship? Is it because you're lonely? Is it because they're the one? Question that. Because if you know why you want a, a partner, then... If you really know why you want a partner, then you'll be able to use a different criteria to choose that partner. No. And it's not just off of a, a fat ass or, you know what I'm saying, some voluptuous breath. You know what I mean? Like, Read the what book. are they doing? Read the book. Don't just look at the cover. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Turn the pages. Read that book, man. Don't just look at, don't just stop after chapter one either. Yeah, man. Don't read the cliff notes either sometimes. She got some chapters in that book, bro. <laughs> you know. It might be some chapters she don't want you to read. Yeah, some bro. chapters she had, but you could just read the chapter. That's all I'm saying, man. Yeah, read the chapter. And be read, be ready to be read yourself. Yes, yes. yes. Okay? Don't, 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 don't be think it's just a one-way thing. Yeah, we're gonna tell you the real. You but, think that's what you want, then make sure you're an open book as well. Yeah, man. It goes both ways. You got to reciprocate, man. This is karmic energy. This is this is the cycle. You know, we've gone through a solstice. There's a whole bunch of friggin' downloads coming and a whole bunch of just spirituality just hitting down. But mostly what it is, it's a portal for men to become better men. Not lay down simps. Not ready to be canceled, scared to say anything. The idea is have a conscious thought, free yourself of your programming, and, and build yourself as, as something better. Like, you know who you are, you know what your version of reality is, and you know what you want to be. To reiterate back on the map, lying to yourself, be true to yourself. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, well, I mean, definitely, with, but, but I think that right there is the thing. True to yourself. Who are you? Who's yourself? You get what I'm saying? Like, are you your grandparents? Are you your grandparents' information? It's, look, I, I cook a lot of dinners based off what my grandmother cooks, right? But I also do something a little bit different. Now, I'm not my grandmother, so I do me. 
because I've been able to kind of craft my own style, my own kind of flavor based off of my life experiences. You know, so if you have really no life experiences other than the pressure of what life is just throwing at you, it's hard to really figure out who yourself yeah. is, you know. So the work, a lot of things we'll be talking about, I'll be talking about is just kind of the work that has to be done. I took a note on that, you know, brother like me, I pay all kind of free money. And I'm taking a note out of their book. And I think, brothers, how many times have you been dating a female, try to, that, that one you lusting after or you trying to, you know, talk to or whatever. And she tell you, well, right now, I'm, I'm trying to work on myself and my career. You know? Think about that. And I know, you brother out here, you've been dating, I'm quite sure. And you've heard that from at least one or two, or maybe even more females in your life. You understand? Oh, oh. So think about that. They trying to find their self, better their self. You got to do the same thing, man. You, you got to fix yourself first before you can fix anything else. Do you understand? So, yep. Day by day, un poco, un poco. You know un mean? poco, un poco. All right? Yeah, we bought lingual down here, too. What? Yeah, Try too. lingual, too. <laughs> I'm being these. I talk about addict too, you know? I mean, come on, people. I'm trying to in a different way. Uh, ah! You got to be able to talk to the brothers. And you, know, you, know, you also need to be able to talk sit straight up and look right in his eye and let him know, you know, where you're coming from as well. You know? <laughs> 100%. 100%, man. And this is why, and, and I mean, and this is why I wanted to, um, you know, do this with you because, one, it's like, I get to, we get to kind of go back and forth and talk some real life stuff and it makes it a bit easier. Um, but ultimately, you know, it's, it's to be able to discuss you know, the thoughts and, and, and the type of topics that we're going to be talking about, mm -hmm. you know, over over, um, over the time of this channel, you know, um, and, and yeah, you know, and talk to a lot of brother that, that, that's, that's going through the, the, the evolution, that's going through the evolution, who, who, who has real life that he's going through, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this past 2020 has hit a lot of people in many different ways. And we lost a lot of people. You know, I just lost one of my one of my good friends. Yes, you know, who I grew up with. You know, yeah, man, my girl Jamie, who I grew up with, like she, she just dropped out, man. And I'm just like, you still young, man. You know? Yeah, That's uh, you yeah. Like this, man. You yeah, still like, well, young, bro. It's like, yeah, my 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 um my teammate, my high school teammate, Rob yeah. Carter, base. He, he passed away, you know, a couple of months back. Like, that was crazy. I'm like, yeah, man. And and, and these weren't COVID-related. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just like, yo. So it's just every day is a blessing to be here. So this even made me even more want to push to do this channel and have this conversation and have these conversations because, you know, getting us out of that loop that hamps the wheel yeah. mindset. That's, that's it right there. Because if you got something you want to do in life, do it. Got to. You only die once. Mm -hmm. People always say you, you live you live once. No. You live every day. Every day God wakes you up or whatever energy you believe in, every day you're allowed to wake up on this planet is another day lived. You only die once. Whatever you want to do, don't let nobody hold you back. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. Get up and do it because if you don't do it, you'll be landing your deathbed saying, Damn man, I always wanted to try this. I wanted to try that. Nah, do it. If it fails, it fails. But at least you'll be able to say, Hey, I tried that shit then. You know? Yeah. Me coming down here, people all the time back up, man, what made you they always think you come down for a female. No, if I had a come down for a female, you'd see me posting all crazy. Cause if I came anywhere for a female, you better believe I'm going to let everybody know that this is the female that I left my home for. You understand what I'm saying? So with that being said, was never to come down for a female. Yeah, and there's plenty of them down here that look beautiful, but I didn't come down for a female. You understand? I came down because my life now... I wouldn't advise that anyway. Uh, hell, I wouldn't advise that anyway. I coming down for a cover of a book. You might get to the fifth chapter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like, this coming so, down this for a female... Bullshit. Like the wildest thing about being an expat is like when you meet a girl down here and you want to hang with her down here. Yeah. Guess what? She's lived there already. So this is you you have you everybody comes with baggage. Everybody comes with baggage. So to leave, so but that's because we live here. But 
to leave where you're from to go to some place where somebody else lives. Like, I wouldn't mind going someplace with a chick to someplace different. Never going with, with where she's from. That's just a whole bunch of headaches way to happen, especially for a lot of you guys out there. Because they don't have, you got to have a certain mindset yeah. to be able, you got to know how I can go somewhere and be good anywhere. You got to be built for that. That's knowing yourself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's knowing yourself. And, and then, you know, like a lot of people back home, they be like, yo, man, I, I commend you getting up and just, my man, he said, man, that's something I always wanted to do. And I told him, I said, man, just do this shit. You, the fuck you waiting on? Just do it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is, oh. as long as you get, it's always going to, it's, listen, listen here. Wait, it's going to always be something that make you not want to do what you want to do. Okay? I heard something It's going to be always something. I heard right. a quote the other day, a dude said it. He was like, ready is a lie. Like it got you gotta be ready. It's like ready is a lie. Ready is re yeah, you're ready. Fuck you're ready. ready. There no. is no ready. Fuck just ready. go. No. Just do. Yeah, just do it. Yeah. Go. Just go. You know, just uh, do. I was talking to a young lady last night. She's like, Well, I think I would you I uh, have that. Just do it. You know uh, what I'm saying? If is, it don't work out, keep your you know, like I say, hey, make sure you hey, don't, don't burn no bridges back home. You know, keep your bridges, keep your bridges. Open, you know, so you always go back across just in case it don't work out. Because, hey, I mean, the shit is not, I'm not going to say this shit is easy. It, and like I said, once again, it depends on you. Knowing yourself, what you're capable of, you know, know your niche, know what you're good at, know what you love to do. And like I said, if you're doing stuff you love to do, man, all right, it, shit comes easy. It and, 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 okay, and it depends on how it's done. I'm, I'm talking, in, I'm talking to you guys in the sense that you, you think entrepreneurship is the way out, because as an entrepreneur, you know, I'm talking to you as that. What, what I tell and what I've found out through my countless friggin' business and business endeavors and, and, and my learning situations and my successes, the ones that work are the ones where you figure out how to solve someone else's problems, mm -hmm. all right? Entrepreneurs are only useful if they're solving somebody else's problems. If you see something that isn't in the marketplace, you ask the market, hey, do you guys want this? Yes, we do. Then you do it. A lot of ideas fall flat because they don't really test it and they don't find their niche. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't find their niche. So if you're young, you, the, 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 the benefit about being young, you know, 16, 18, 24, you 26, fuck up. you got time to fuck up. <laughs> I mean, God willing. Yeah, you got time, time to, fuck to fuck up. Just don't fuck up too much, right? Don't fuck up too much that gives you a fucking um, a record or something like don't that. You in but you house. have time to try because you have to try things to know what you don't like. Yes. Just don't get married. You know what I mean? Like, don't, 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 don't let the marriage, you know what I'm saying, date. Um... You know, yeah, read, date. Read, read a few books. That's you know, that's even a better way to read, date. Read a few books, man. You know, you're learning to somebody read else's chapters, experience. Right? You know, read a chapter. Figure out read some the stuff. same chapter two or three times if you have to. You know, they, they always tell you the best way to keep into information, to retain information, is to read it three times. Whatever it is. And, and then teach it. it. Yeah. And then, yeah. And, and then teach it. Knowledge, on. Because knowledge is key. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's the same thing I tell people too. Like, don't like you got to try it three times to know if you really love it or not, right? <laughs> right. Like, like, rap, the more that you rap song, and say, "What did I? I mean, I'll come back to. I'll come back to it." <laughs> and, you know, just so it can relate. You know what I mean? So, I mean it's things that they say all the time. And you sit back and you listen to the song like that. He said right there. I'm sure. I'm sure everything that needs to be said, you can go to a Jay Z verse or KRS One verse and find it. Those, those, those two right there, but but nonetheless, staying staying open mind, um, staying nimble, figuring out what is your next five moves. Play this play this chess, chess game, chess man. Game, baby. Queen's Gambit. Chess, yes. You know what I mean? Play this chess game. Five moves, five moves ahead. That's Try to get five moves ahead, and, and man, man, that's what we all always man mean. doing. Man, five moves ahead. This old, this old changing of the finance system and COVID and all that, man. This, hey, five steps ahead. You better get with the five steps or we're going to be left behind. Yeah, bro. Yeah. And it don't have to look. And 
guys, girls, you don't have to be Elon Musk. Your five steps doesn't have to be Tesla. It just means take stock of what you got going on around you invest and in invest in yourself, figure that out. You know what I mean? Like build yourself up. Like it doesn't have to be, you don't have to create something. All the, all the things that you need are already created. All right. Let, let's just be real. Like when I'm not I'm guaranteed. Most of you out there are not geniuses. Guaranteed, guaranteed. But with that being said, all of you have the opportunity to benefit from geniuses. And that's really what thinking as a hustler really is. Like, you don't have to be a genius. A lot of the things that get you through are really the mundane stuff. But if you're out there and you're knowing that there are people out there who are geniuses or are doing the work, just, just, just learn off of them. You know, most of you rappers out there, you listen to Jay-Z, and then, you know? and then there's a, I mean, you want to circle from a genius. It's all, all, uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I say this, though. <laughs> Geniuses are just not running around out there. Uh, I made it. Some people of will, them. people will fall for the okie yeah. They do all the time. Yes, Think, please, <laughs> have a discerning taste. You know what I mean? You will follow somebody to your peril. You know, even me, like shit, like you, you like I'm not gonna be for everybody. But the thing is this: most the beauty about the time that we're in right now is that technology allows the average person to become more above average and be successful. And then if you also put in the work and the effort, mm -hmm. that makes up. And then that looks like you're a genius to the outside because they don't realize it's really just work and doing mundane stuff, having a system. No, no, there's no, there's no, you know? get, rich, no get rich schemes out here. Yeah. Nah, not at I all. Mean, I mean, you know, there is, it's situations. You know, you make the right move. Yeah, the yeah, right yeah, time. Yeah. You yes. can come up. Come you on. can get the bag. Understand? Coming up, and you can definitely get the bag. And getting rich quick is two different things, though. Don't don't get that confused. No doubt. Come up, a and come get up rich quick. Is exactly. Two different two things. different things. You understand? A come up has a mindset. A get rich quick. That that's the lottery. That's the lottery. You know, get rich quick. They hardly they hardly are able to replicate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A come up is somebody that's putting the work. And got rewarded and got the bag. And with all this new technology, and more than likely, they can do it again. And here, this is a definitely out to get you. Right now. So, yeah. Remember one thing: if it sounds too good to be true, nine out of ten, it is what it sounds like. Too good to be fucking. So true. why do people still fall for that, right? Because certain That's things true. don't sound too good to be true, or they feel that they are just special. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? It's you are me. not. A genius. There are people out there that put their whole effort and time in to dupe you. All right? People out there that put their whole effort and time in to dupe you because you're not doing the work. You're not doing the work. You're not reading. You're not looking up on stuff. You're not really taking stock in yourself. The hard things, the hard things are really the boring things, the things that keep your attention. Everybody wants to be a TikTok star. And look, here I say this as oh, doing a YouTube channel, don't get it twisted, but it's because I have a body of work. And put in the work. You know, that's the you know what I mean? I got a body of work. I got years at this. I got I got people who, who, who benefit off of my knowledge. You know, I got people who pay me for this. So why not talk about it? You know, because there's way more out there. I know to engage with people is how I can be a better person. And how I can level up, you know, by engaging and answering what the people want. Because, look, I've forgotten more things than what people need to know. You know what I mean? Like, so to engage is to allow me to re-engage with the information and be able to give out better information, folks. You know, and, you know, if that is, again, showing you how to grow some food, showing you how to start a business, you know, like, uh, simply and... You know, talking some real talk. You know, um, uh, earlier today, um, we, we, we were sitting back before we started 
this and um, was talking about uh, the guy Kevin Samuels oh, yeah, yeah. and and how he this, told us something she didn't want to hear. Well, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I what, mean, that's what it came down. To. I think, I, I think she told her, he told her something that she didn't want to hear. Mm -hmm. I think she, he, he told her something that she wasn't prepared. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, she wasn't she prepared, wasn't prepared for the, to hear. Um, and that is the type of brutal honesty yeah. that you guys need out there. And you the know, world, like right now, they're, 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 they're tripping on this man because he, he like said it to a woman. Yeah. But at the end of the day, but can you women imagine, are strong and can take, and can take talking. Can you imagine how and then they level up. really agreeing with what he was saying, though? I mean, there's tons of people agreeing with you know what I mean? he said because but, he wasn't saying anything wrong. But they don't want to admit what he was saying. You see what I'm saying? I think this. I think this. Delivery is everything. You know, you say things with a smile. If you, you if you present things with a smile, you say it. exactly. It's not about what you say to people. It's how you make them feel. Mm -hmm. And that is what people had a problem with. But he is saying, I needed to do it that way because it needed to get in. It needed to sink in. So sometimes you need to give a little bit of that elixir. Yeah, she you know what I mean? 60, still looking for her. No doubt. He well, told her that, yo, she's the type that died alone. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. that makes sense. It makes sense to me. It, that totally makes sense. Like, I grew up with women. But should she settle? Should she settle? You see, the thing is this. What is settling? Once you realize your reality, then you adjust what your reality is. The no point is, is you are delusional. She's delusional. You know, I got a confession. With, with, with 